What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm back with another episode of the best tweaks of the week. So this week I'm going to be walking you through five separate tweaks, and I really recommend sticking around to the end because the last tweak I have here is actually pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called blurry badges. Now what this tweak does is you can see on my badge notification, it's actually taking the wallpaper in the background, whatever's behind that badge, and it's taking that color and blurring it out. So you can see right here that we have a more of a blue or a light green color for the badge notification, and that's just because that's the color of the wallpaper in the background right there. Now if we take a look down here, it's more of a purple color because the wallpaper in the background is purple. So if we actually change up the wallpaper here, just to kind of give you a better idea, we'll go into this one right here, just because it has a lot more color. And you can see that right up here at the top that we have a yellow color, and then right down here, we have more of a green color. So that's basically what uh, Blurry Badges is going to do. Now you also have some options here. So if we go into the settings and we scroll down to Blurry Badges, open that up you can see that you can change the border size as well as the border color and then right down here you also have the badge tint alpha so if we start up here we have no border selected so let's just go ahead and tap on pre iOS 7 border and then for border color if we want to change it up to white we can do a lighter darker black or just a random color but let's go ahead and do let's just do black just to kinda make it pop and then right down here for your badge tint alpha the further to the left that you go or slide this little knob to then that means it's going to be more of that color in the background so it's going to be more of a blur if we go over to the right then this is going to take more of the color of the actual badge rather than the actual blur so that's basically just taking away the blur portion of this tweak and it's just basically giving you the ability to change the borders so let's go ahead and leave this all the way down so we still get that blur effect and you can see that you don't have to actually respring or anything like that it automatically takes effect and we have that black border around those badge notifications so you can download this for free so definitely check it out next up we have a Sigit called Apple event countdown so what this is going to do is give you a widget right there on your lock screen doing a countdown until the Apple event so you can see right here what it looks like if we go to our lock screen you can see that it has the time it has the date and then right below that it has a countdown so until the Apple event we have nine days six hours eleven minutes and twelve seconds so it's always going to remind you right there on your lock screen every time you unlock your device so if we unlock our device and we go into our settings this is how you're going to set it up we'll just go back to our Sigit so this will install Sigit and once you do that just go ahead and open up Sigit open up the lock Sigit order and then make sure you toggle on or tick on Apple Countdown. Now, you also have an Apple Countdown Dark, so we'll go ahead and turn that on, and I'll show you what that looks like as well. All right, so now that we resprung, you can see what that looks like right there. So basically, it just depends on what type of theme that you have for your device, or just which one you think looks better. And for a darker theme, I think the dark actually looks a whole lot better. So with this theme, I would actually go with the dark. But this is another free tweak that you can download in Cydia right now. So next up, we have a tweak called Sound Icons. Now what this tweak does is give you an animation right there on the application that is playing music. So let's just say we wanted to play some music in Pandora. So we're going to open up Pandora here. And then once it starts actually playing music, I'll make sure to turn this down. All right, so it should be playing music. So now if we go to the home screen right here, you can see that it's playing this little animation right there on the app so you can also have some settings for this if we go into our settings and we open up sound icons make sure that it is enabled and then if you make any changes right here you are going to have to respring your device but you can change the animation speed you can change the bar width and you can change the bar transparency so you can also change the colors right down here if you know those colors uh, I'll probably just leave these as is just because it's kind of a a hassle to mess with the colors but right up here we'll change the animation speed we'll make it really fast we'll change the bar width to make it a little bit uh, thinner and then for bar transparency we'll just make it a little more just like that so let's go ahead and respring our device and I'll show you what that looks like all right so now that we resprung let's go ahead and unlock the device and let's hop over to Pandora again and start playing some music Alright, so it's playing music, and you can see how fast 
and how thin those bars are. So you probably want to keep the animation speed a little bit lower uh, just because it looked a little bit better before I resprung and the bar width is probably a little too thin for my liking. I'd like it to go all the way across the application, but you can just tinker with this. You can even change the colors like I was mentioning. And again, this is a free tweak that you can download in Cydia. Next up, we have a skin or a theme for Swing Copters. So if you guys don't know what Swing Copters is, it's an incredibly enraging game that was created by the maker of Flappy Bird. And it's really rage inducing, but basically what it does is allow you to change this up to the Super Mario Brothers theme. Now this is really cool. I just like the way it looks. It looks exactly like Super Mario Brothers. So if we start to play this, you can see that we have Mario right here with a little copter on his head. And basically all you do, just like you do in Swing Copters, is you tap to go across. Again, this is extremely hard. I didn't get, I mean, you can see my best score is four and I have put a, quite a bit of time into this. It's not, it's not an easy game. But you're also going to still have those hitboxes the exact same as in Swing Copter. So this doesn't make it any easier. It just basically changes the graphics. So even though those little fireball things right there, uh, I hate this game, uh, is a little bit thinner, you're still going to hit right outside of it. So those hammers that you usually see in the original skin, you're still going to be able to hit those even though you can't really see them. So let's just try to see how far I can get right okay I can get one so there we go that's about as much as I can play that right now all right so for the last tweak and this is the best one in my opinion it's called setback now what this tweak does is give you the ability to save your layout and then revert back to it at a later time so this is a really cool tweak so if we swipe over here you can see that we have a new application called setback now you're just going to download this in Cydia and then it's going to put this app right here so if we tap on this you can see that I've actually saved some layouts here so you can easily save a layout just by hitting this plus button and then you can call whatever your current setup is uh, you can change that or name it right here and then tap save once you do that it's going to save the current theme so let's just go ahead and save this as uh, we'll just save it as lol if I could type save that and you can see that it's going to load through and save all the P lists and basically save all of your configuration. So if you have a different configuration for your tweaks, then it's going to save that. Now you can't uninstall a tweak and then revert back to it. This is not going to revert back and reinstall a tweak, but it will allow you to enable, disable, change configurations within the tweak. So you can see right here, I'm actually using the soft blue layout, but if I wanted to change this up, let's just say I'm gonna change it to the icon layout. So it says, are you sure you wanna to revert to icon? Just tap yes, and then it's going to load this up, and then it's going to respring your device. And you can see right here, it's given a little homage to uh, Back to the Future. It says getting to 88 miles per hour, but let's go ahead and respring real quick. All right, so now that we're resprung, you can see if we unlock our device, boom, here is our new layout. So it's actually pretty cool. You can see if we swipe over here that we still have that setback icon. So if we tap on that, then we can change back to stock. We can go back to soft blue. And a really cool thing about this is you can see if I go to my lock screen where I actually had my Sidget, it's not there because on this actual layout, I disabled that Sidget. So like I said, you can enable, you can disable tweaks, you can change the configurations and you can do so all with setback. So this is a really cool tweak and you can save a whole lot of layouts right within that application. Now, if you guys are wondering what theme this is, this is called Icon. It actually came out a few weeks ago, uh, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, I don't use it very often. I'm still stuck on soft, but if you want to try this out, then this is a free theme that you can download in Cydia. So let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my videos, then make sure you subscribe as well as hitting that like button if you want to see more videos just like this. All right, guys, until next time, peace.